I picked him up. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's throw him back on the ground. <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to do that. Where is it at? It's under treatments, right? Like, yeah. I, uh. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Emerge NYC gameplay for Emergency Monday. We're on a Manhattan map, and we're going to be doing yet another viewer request. It's time for High Rise Fire. You know, we just had the big fire the other day, the big High Rise Fire in Into the Flames. Someone left a comment said they wanted to see one in Emerge. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I don't think we've ever done one on the Manhattan map. I think it's always been a broken map. Roan Engine 49 standing in front of this absolutely gorgeous roll-up door. I never noticed this before, honestly. I never have. Because if I have, I don't remember it. Uh, Heaven Sent Hellbound. You can't get any more badass than that, right? Like, that is really super cool. Let's go ahead and we'll get the door open. Maybe let me in. <laughs> Come on, guys. Y'all need to let me in. Like any other time, it has this huge, huge click box. And then when I want to go back in, it's very tiny. All right. So let's get started with our fire. We're not going to do a huge response today. It's going to be more about the fire itself, like just jumping on the fire and getting it taken care of. Let's go to call menu and we'll scroll down and look for it here. One of the many. Let's see, where you at? I may have gone by it, possibly. I think I did, actually. Let's go back up. All right, here we go. Here's our fire right here. Let's grab him. Get it started. Let's see, what does it say? Uh, engine 49, squad 28, engine 32, tower ladder 68, ladder 66, battalion 5 is going to be a uh, fire, 10th floor, multiple dwelling. There you go. All right, let's hop in our turnout gear. We'll get headed that way. Get that up, uh, what is it, default uniform, right? There we go. And we'll hop in you. All right, let's get rolling. Uh, if you think Spurs sounds a little bit off or uh, strange today, it's because I'm sick. I woke up sick Sunday morning. This is the first time in forever. My, uh, my oldest daughter has been sick for several days with some kind of cold or something is going around. She finally gets over it like she's almost completely better. And uh, I thought, yeah, we dodged a bullet, right? Like no one else got sick in the house. Because there's a bunch of us here. Like no one else got sick, right? Like we, we dodged a bullet. We all made it. We're fine. Then woke up Sunday morning feeling like crap. So there you have it. It's part of having kids, right? Like they're all the time bringing stuff home from school. It never fa <laughs> It never fails. They bring stuff home and then they share it with everyone else. It's great. All right, uh, come on, y'all get out of the way. Did a little tweaking to my Logitech wheel on this. I uh, I decreased the radius from 900 to 540, which I didn't realize it was high that high. Like that was a ridiculous amount of wheel input. And then I changed the uh, the sensitivity and. I'm trying to think what else I did. Uh, oh yeah, the force feedback. No, don't stop in front of me there. You don't need to be doing that. So hopefully that helps a little bit. I think I need to do some work on the pedals too. I think I need to add some more pedal uh, range to it. Y'all get out of the way, go. All right, we'll we'll uh, we'll get up here and park and we'll bring a few more pieces. All right, this is good. Let's go ahead and hop on F2. Oh, uh, what else we got? Uh, 68. Let's bring him in. Let's put him right here. There we go. Let's get squad 28. And we'll put him on this hydrant here. He'll, uh, he'll supply our water. And who else we got? Uh, 28. We got 32. We'll put him up here as well. Right there, and then we got Ladder 66. Got to get the Ladder. Bring him up here. Let's put him. Uh, I think maybe on this corner right here. This might be good. There we go. Sweet. All right, everyone is on the way. Let's jump back on. Uh, engine 49. We'll go upstairs and see what's going on. Um, I guess we'll take Halligan. All right, let's get the roll up and let's get our Halligan. All right, let's go. 
We do have smoke, so we got some fires up there somewhere. We'll have to go look and see. It could be some occupants up there as well, too. Usually there are. Usually there are. But we don't ever save them because when we do the big response, like it takes so long to get everything here that um, uh, they they don't make it, right? Like that's what happens. They don't make it. All right, this should be, I think that's going to be the floor below. The fire floor should be this one right here. Maybe. Maybe. Let's look and see. Ah, yes. Yes, it's going. All right, let's get our air on and why it won't let me squat down. Oh, we do have someone in here. Let's grab them up real fast. Let's get them out of here. Quick, quick, quick before it goes, before it goes. Oh, now they want me to squat. Like before it wouldn't, it wouldn't squat me down. It wouldn't kneel. Now, now it does once I pick him up. All right, let's get them out of here. Let's just get them off the fire floor real fast. That's a first, guys. That's like the first time we rescued someone out of there. Oh, I had a viewer comment the other day said uh, 45 minutes of response for like three minutes of call time or something. Yeah, you know, that's the case. That's, you know, when you're playing single player and uh, you're doing these big responses, um, you know, it's a trade off. It's a trade off. You, you can't do everything. Uh, you can't do everything yourself. So, you know, that's why I say you have to have a little bit of a suspension of belief. Uh, when you're driving all that equipment there just pretend that it's like in like five minutes or something versus 45 but uh, the the big response videos have always been like really popular like people love it I guess it's because they're seeing the different pieces of equipment driven oh shoot we're on the we're on the bottom floor never mind I'm trying to go in the little nook and cranny over there I guess they just like seeing the uh, the equipment being driven you know like getting from point A to point B Alright, let's pull that down. We don't need all that mess. And there's like, and there's lots of different ways you can play this game too, you know? Like I said, we can do it like we're doing now. We can AI most everything here. Uh, you can just bring one piece of equipment if you want. Like, there's different ways you can do it. Alright, let's get you back up. And let's drop him down. He's probably going to teleport away. Maybe. No, he didn't. He dropped right. We kind of threw him. We slung him down. <laughs> We may or may not have broke his legs uh, in the process of putting him down on the ground because that, like, no, that doesn't look good, right? All right, you hang tight right there, and we're going to go put the fire out. Don't go. Don't move nowhere, okay? Just stay right there. All right, um, let's see. We, we got to put our halligan back up, actually. Let's do that. So it looks like all our, uh, our AI has arrived, so that's good. And squad park correctly, nice. Because I've done this video like three times already this morning. It's had something constantly like going wrong. But uh, the last iteration that I did, squad decided to roll up on a hydrant and then flip over on its side. So you know, it's it's what happens. All right, let's grab you. Get this cut on. Uh, also, I did the tutorial the other day. Had a few people leave a comment on that about uh, the firefighter AI. I said there's no firefighter AI. Yeah, it's not not ready yet. And I don't know when that's going to be released. I don't. I haven't seen like a hard date, a hard set on you know hard set date on the firefighter AI. Let's say that. I haven't seen anything concrete on that. I don't know when it's coming out. I mean, it it will at some point, but uh. uh not right now they are working on the uh engine update for the game engine it's supposed to uh include a lot of fixes and uh tweaks and optimization and stuff like that for game performance so uh that's going to be great i'm really looking forward to that that's going to be a big update honestly it really just is all right uh we got all this hooked up let's get our helmet back on mr walsh and we'll get our pump going and then uh we'll see about heading upstairs getting the fires put out and then we'll have to uh deal with homeboy downstairs in a little bit it's only one of us we can only do so much right all right here we go all right don't go anywhere all right you stay right there oh we need our uh we need our high-rise pack never mind Never mind. Let's get our high rise back. You know, I was under the impression. I don't know why. I, I think I kind of have an idea why what led me wrong. But I was thinking high rise packs were uh, like only on special units. 
Um, and so I had several of you guys kind of chimed in on that. It was like, oh no, any engine can carry a high rise pack. So I think what got me confused is that I know there's like certain engines for the FDNY, they're like high rise units. I'm guessing maybe that's because of the pump, the pumping, the water pressure or something going up in such a tall building. I don't know. I'm just making a guess. And so I, I think in turn, I was thinking that that's like uh, the truck that would have the, uh, or the engine that would have the high rise packs, but you guys fill me in. So I do appreciate that. All right, let's get, we got like 50 bazillion floors. Keep climbing. No, oh, yeah, some stuff's going down up there for certain. All right, let's keep a uh, little bunny hop there. This should be the floor below. So let's connect up to that. I hope it is. I hope that's the floor below or not. We just goofed up. No, there we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we're good. Let's uh, let's squat down. All right, we got water. We got our water. Let's go. Let's make entry, guys. Get air. We'll do a little air initially until we get in, and then we'll take the air off. Because nothing sucks worse than having to uh, replenish your tank like four or five times in a ten-story building. So I don't ever, <laughs> I don't ever bother with it. Like I would probably, I would honestly let this dude die before I would go all the way back downstairs and get another tank and uh replenish it so oh he's burning what's going on whoa i didn't see anything dude that was horrible <laughs> it sounded so bad <laughs> uh what's our health look like yeah we're all right you big baby seriously are we almost out of air see there you go we're out of air we should have grabbed a new tank when we took our uh, victim down there and uh, doors in the way. Let's get around that. Oh, I wish we could chop these doors down. That would be so nice. I wish we could. He's doing it old school. Uh, Walsh is an older fellow, so he can handle it. He knows what it's about. What do we got? Oh, yeah, we got more fires here, too. Let's go to first-person mode. There we go. I think we got that one knocked down. Got it in the ceiling as well, too. Let's grab it. I knock it down fast, right? Get on it quick. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting it. This fire never disappoints. I wish we had more high-rise fires. I really do. This one, it can be like really disorienting uh, with the smoke and stuff at times. I don't know what it is about this particular fire, but it can. Like, that smoke is really thick. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep pushing. We're not messing around today, guys. We're getting right on it. Then we'll, uh, we'll check on our guy downstairs on the sidewalk we'll get him taken care of i'm surprised usually they teleport away when you when you put them down like that like the last several that i've done that with they've teleported away all right come on let's go sweet we're getting it we're almost there just a little bit further Yeah, we got some fire around this corner licking through. That's going to be kind of a tough one to get. Man, he's eating this smoke like a boss, right? Like he hadn't even let all <laughs> he hadn't even let out a little bit of a cough. Oh, whoa, 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 you're okay. Dude, seriously, stop. Did we die? No. But we don't have any more water. What the hell is that about? Like we have zero water. What happened to our water? Yeah, we're at, we're, what? Uh, no more water, what's going on? Oh, uh, this, this most definitely is not good. Did we, did we cut it off? Like, no, we didn't. What happened to our water? 
Uh, yeah, that's not good. Okay. Um. Yeah, no water. We got no more water, guys. You got to get the waters up here for us so we can put these fires out. Like, what's going on? Seriously. All right, I'm going to... I want to grab that because if I put it down, I'm going to have a hell of a time picking it back up. And then now we got to go all the way back downstairs. All right, let's see what's going on with our water. What are you guys doing down here? We need our waters. Like, all right, uh, what's... Oh, wait. Did we not connect to the standpipe? Maybe we didn't. I don't think I did, right? Like, I don't think I connected up to it. <laughs> I don't think we connected up to it. I don't know where that water came from. Maybe that was water that was just like already in the, in the standpipe, but either way, uh, yeah, we don't have another relay line either. Like, this is completely goofed up. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, uh, noted. Do you need the... Uh, I completely forgot about that. I, <laughs> I can't believe we did that. That's hilarious. There's a lot of water in that pipe then. Like, it was already charged. <laughs> it was already... It already had residual water left in it from the last fire. All right, let's pull you over here. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. We're lucky. We're lucky. That could have been bad. Like, that could have been real bad. All right, so we need to relay from um, squad. We got to go from squad to this guy. All right, so we need to go from you. Oh, come on. Why am I hung up? There we go. From there to the front. All right, listen, don't go anywhere. Just stay right there. We'll get you in a second. Ah, oh, damn it. We need more line. All right, we'll hook you up there. And let's get our relay off of squad. I totally forgot that. In my effort to uh, hurry up and get water on the fire, I completely forgot our uh, supply to the building. All right, let's get this hooked up right here. That should be part of our inlet. It's weird that we did have water on that. Like, that is a complete and total surprise. All right, let's get you. And we'll take you around the front here. There we go. All right, let's double check before we go back up once again. There we go. All right, let's get our pump going. Now we should have us some waters now. I don't know what what you guys are doing down here. We didn't have no waters. Like, no one even bothered hooking it up. I'm going up and down these stairs 50 bazillion times, 10 stories. You guys are not getting us no waters up there. Bunch of slackers. Y'all busting my bees, just so y'all know, just so you guys know, you busting my bees. Like, I don't want to go up these stairs no more. Mr. Walsh is pissed. I'm sure he would have some choice words. <laughs> You're like, I'm so pissed, we're not even going to get a new tank of air. We're just going to go up there and eat some smokes, because I want to get this fire out. All right, let's go. Try us one more time. I think we knocked the bulk of it out. It could very well be completely out by now. Probably. That would figure, right? Like, that would totally... Alright, here we are. Uh... Why did it... Did it... There we go. Okay, I, I don't even think, like... We don't have a nozzle. What happened to our nozzle? All right, let's see. Let's get back in here. I think it's out. I think it just went out. What little bit was... No, it's not out. It's still got fire going. It's still got... We still got some fires up here, guys. And we don't like... They gave me a hose pack without a nozzle. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what these people are doing down there. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're going to get a... We're going to get a tank. We're going to get a can. 
All right, we're finally back. We're finally back with our can. We're gonna try it with the can. I'm not bringing another line. I'm like, I'm not sorting all that out. Spurs too lazy to do that. We're not doing all that. We're just going to do this with the can. If it kills us in the process, if it kills us in the process, we're going to do this. Come on. Come on. Do it. <laughs> Go out. <laughs> well, I think we did it, right? Like, did we get it? I hope that's all it. Uh, it looks to be we finished it with the can, with the water can. That's a first. Using the water can on a major fire. I think we're good, right? Like, uh, we'll check the other floors. We'll check the one above. We'll check one above just to make sure. We better check the one next door too, actually. Uh, it looks like we got a little charred in here. Some smoke damages, but it's okay. We're good. All right, let's uh go upstairs. Uh, can't open that door. It's barricaded. But we can. Oh man, they got yeah, they got some smoke damage up here too. We got a vacant apartment with some smoke damages up here. Like no fires though. I think we're good. All right. Yeah, I think we're good. We'll double check this one just to make sure as well. But yeah, we're good. All right. We're all clear. Fires been put out. Everything's under control. We're good here. Now we'll tend to the dude downstairs. We'll get down there to him. All right, let's see about grabbing uh, an EMS bag. Where's our EMS bag at? Let's see, let's roll this up. And our bag, where's our bag at? Where's our bag? We need our bag, there we go. And let's get this pump off too, we don't need it anymore. Hello sir, can you hear me? Uh, Firefighter Walsh with the New York Fire Department. How you doing today? Let's see. Uh, evidently not too well. He's not breathing. Uh, yeah, he's not breathing. This is not good. Okay, let's uh, let's try to bring him back. Let's do some CPR. Let's see if we can do something with him. As I've had several people mention, do CPR. If they're not ringing, you do CPR. But we'll try it. We'll see if it works out. I don't know if it is. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We're going to do it this way because the light. Yeah, okay. Uh, CPR to the concrete works just as good, you know? Like, <laughs> this will totally work. Uh, some of that concrete CPR. This uh, this will totally work. This will bring him back. Oh, his ankle doesn't look that good over there, right? Like, that's not supposed to be like that. Uh, We're stuck in animation, too. Like, let's... uh. Can we get out of that animation? No, we cannot. So, like, we can't get out of it. Uh, stop CPR. Let's see. All right. Oh, he moved. I think he might be all right. He may be okay. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got? No. No, no. He's not doing good. He's not doing good at all. Okay. Let's roll the uh, ambulance. Let's get them here. We'll do that. All right, let's head to the fire. We got to uh, take care of this guy. We got a patient. Unresponsive, he's not breathing. He's been in a fire and he's got a lot of stuff going on. He had some weirdness with his ankles too as well. I don't know what that was about. Maybe when we threw him down on the sidewalk, we could have hurt his ankles, but. Uh, which way? All right, hopefully it won't take us too long to get there. All right, come on, get out of the way, get out of the way. We gotta go, we gotta go, you need to go. Oh, nice, this worked out perfect. Like, I never, <laughs> never picked the right street. I never picked the right street. Like, that never happens. Okay, we're uh, we're here on scene. Let's just pull up right here. There we go. All right, hop out and get our stretcher. 
Uh, so we tried CPR. I've had several people leave comments say you should do CPR first, that you wouldn't defib them and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I get that, but I don't think it works. I, I don't think it works. I think you have to defib them. Like, you know, it's, it goes back to what I said a bazillion times. Sometimes you have to work within the confine of the games. It's not real life. Um, so not everything is going to be legit. Uh, wait, I'm completely lost here. There we go. Back this way. I think uh, we'll give them epi. We'll give them epi. We'll do that before we defib because uh, that would probably be closer to what you would do in real life than just defibbing them. But all right, let's see. We're let's drop that. Let's uh, lower you down and let's go check them out. All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, we could hook them up to. Uh, Check his pulse, all this stuff. I think it's going to come back zero. Yeah, he did. Okay. He's dead, but uh, yeah, his, even his temp's 90. Um, let's see. I want to do the... Uh, I want to do the monitor for him, and I don't see it. Like, where did it go? We don't want to do CPR from this menu because usually when I do CPR from this menu, it winds up, uh, it winds up, um, bagging them. Yeah, I don't see the monitor. Okay, let's pull this down. Let's do it the old school way. Go back to you and, uh, Vials monitor. There we go. Nice. All right, we got that. And let's do uh, let's do an IV. Let's get him on an IV as well too. Doing his right arm there. Uh, well, now we can do it. Weird. Like we had to select his arm. That's kind of odd. Give IV. There we go. It's being kind of weird today. I don't know what's up with that. All right, so we got his IV started. Let's look at his vitals. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, he's dead. He's most definitely dead. All right, let's try Epi. We tried CPR. That did not work. That did not work, so we'll try epinephrine. See what that does. Uh, Doesn't look like it did anything. We may have to defib him, guys. I, I know that's not legit. It's not legit, but like I said... No, it did work. Epi worked. It brought him back. He just, he's not breathing, but he's uh, 59 beats per minute. 15% uh, on his O2, 80 over 30 on his blood pressure. So that's not, uh, that's not good either. So uh, his breathing is not good. So let's go back to this and let's go to his head. Let's see, where's it at? Rescue breaths. Let's see if this helps. If this helps, uh, pull that back down. Uh, seven respirations per minute, uh, 15. Yeah, it's still not good. Do we need to, uh, we may have to intubate. We're going to have to intubate, guys. Uh, let's intubate. Let's do that. Let's give him oxygen. Let's do all the things. And let's hook him to a ventilator, too. See what that does. Yes, 99%, 20, like, he's golden. Like, this dude is amazing. His blood pressure a little bit low. A little bit low. But other than that, we're good. Like, we brought him back completely. We didn't have to defib him, too, so that's good. All right, let's put him on the, uh, no, I didn't mean to, I didn't want to do that. No, 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 no. Oh, we may have goofed up, guys. I picked him up. I picked him up. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Let's throw him back on the ground. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to do that. Where is it at? It's under treatments, right? Like, yeah. I, uh, maybe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he has to be on the backboard first. So now I think we can move him. Now we've got him on the stretcher. Okay, let's check him one more time since we threw him down on the ground. You know, that's what happens when you don't cooperate with us. We throw you on the sidewalk. We leave you behind. We dump you off. We dump you off somewhere else. 
is 103 over 53. He's good. This dude, you're okay. It was that last, <laughs> that last uh, jostles what got things going, throwing them down. Sometimes you have to do that. You know, it's like sometimes you got a piece of equipment doesn't want to cooperate with you. You just have to hit it a few times and uh, it starts back. So it worked. All right, let's go load this dude up. Let's load him up on the bus to get him out of here. We did have to park like football field away from it, but we'll be all right. We got it. There we go. All right, let's put him on the ambulance. Shut the doors. Man, what a day. I just feel like I'm off anyway, just because I haven't felt that great. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Love all you guys. Thank you so much for love and support. We're hitting like uh, almost 700 subs for the last 28 days, which is absolutely blows my mind. I just can't even wrap my head around it. Once again, thank you all. I really do appreciate it. And with all that said, we'll catch you on the streets of Manhattan next time. Peace.